Okay, so we are looking at aquatic food production systems. Um, and in this screencast, we're just going to be looking at some of the introductory basics, um, including the fact that all the food webs in the ocean are mostly supported by phytoplankton. So these are little tiny, mostly single celled organisms that can photosynthesize. So they are the main primary producers in most food webs. And we find that we, pro we have the highest rates of productivity near coastlines. And the reason why that is, is one is they tend to be shallower because it's, you know, there tend to be a continental shelf. And if it's shallower, it means it's closer to getting more sun. The deeper the ocean, not so much sun. So that doesn't support primary productivity very well. So if we're up closer to the sunlight, we're going to have higher levels of production. And we also tend to get some nice upwellings near coastal areas that bring in nutrients um, enrichment. So as long as there's plenty of sun and plenty of nutrients, um, then the, phyto the phytoplankton can photosynthesize. And then the next level, the zooplankton can eat the phytoplankton and the krill and so on and so forth. And we keep moving our way up the chain. Um, you should be able to roughly um, talk about food chains based on phytoplankton and what eats them. So we've got herbivorous zooplankton generally. <laughs> and then that can keep moving up a food chain between krill. These are little shrimp-like guys um, that are very common at the bottom of a food chain. And then of course, um, we've got fish and other things eating each other. Here's one on a coral reef, a uh, tropical coral reef. So um, the phytoplankton to the zooplankton, and there's also coral polyps. These guys are filter feeders. Um, they also have a nice symbiotic relationship with a lot of phytoplankton as well to get additional nutrients, right? Um, and then there's plenty of different organisms that feed off of each of those. Um, now, the importance of a lot of this that we're going to be focusing on today has to do with aquatic food production. So we know that the energy coming from the sun goes through phytoplankton and then moves its way up the chain. Um, and then eventually we can make food from all of this. And there's a couple of different ways that we do this. Uh, we do it through both aquaculture and um, wild fisheries. So we actually hunt for fish. So this, the demand, you know, has gone up a lot for fish because it's a more popular choice in MEDCs because, oh, it's healthier, um, low fat intake, uh, tends to be a lot of protein. So it's got like that healthy popularity. Um, but on average, each person in the world eats about 20 kilograms of fish per year. And as I said, that is going up. Now, because wild fisheries have been fished unsustainably for a very long time, um, there, we're kind of running out of fish in the ocean. There's a lot of alarming uh, statistics and a lot of alarming articles that you can see. Because there's not enough fish in the ocean anymore, we've done a lot of fish farming or what we call aquaculture. And so you can see aquatic freshwater um, systems, you know, can be both fresh and marine. And we harvest both flora, which is seaweed and other things like that, as well as fauna, uh, like shellfish and fish and um, even some mammal vertebrates. And you can see Here's kind of what's been happening with the demand for fish and how much we're producing in the world. So here's the, the, the wild fisheries, right? And that's gone up and up and up, but notice that it's leveled off. Well, again, a lot of this leveling off isn't because there's not fishermen going out there anymore. It's just, we've depleted the stock so much, there's just not as many fish to catch. The farmed fishing has gone up and up and up, trying to balance that out. And you'll see, we're gonna be looking in the next couple of videos at what we've been doing and what we can do with wild fisheries and what we can what we shouldn't be doing and what we can be doing with farmed fisheries with some case studies in another screencast.